Hello and welcome YouTube. Today we're going to be implementing the gold value system. With one click I've just bought the spaceship and it's available right here and it's going to be available even if I quit the game and restart it. The gold vanished and I can buy all of these different spaceships and now since I have zero gold I cannot buy these spaceships anymore and I can select the ones that I have just as we before. Awesome, so let's get started. And as always you can get this scene and the end scene from the links down below but let's start with the safe class. I'll open it up and here we want to make a public int array so we know which spaceships we own and actually can e also save it so owned spaceships like this and let's make it equal to a new int array and in here a1 is going to mean that we have the spaceship and else put in some zeros and we want exactly nine numbers right here because we have nine buttons in the shop right here we need nine indexes so one two three four five six seven eight nine like so Okay, that's done. So we can close the save manager for now or the save class and actually open up the save manager. And now let's open up the save manager. And this is just a comment to reset the levels. Just add a public bool function to check if we have a spaceship. So is spaceship owned? And we want to pass in an index so that we can check if the index is owned. So if the save class dot own spaceships on the index, which is going to be the past in index is equal to one. We own this spaceship, so return true. Else we're just going to return false. And you could also return just like this, basically just you could also do this return and then this statement. You don't really need to if and else check it, but I'm just gonna leave it here for as a comment and you can actually delete this and just do this. Let's also make a function for purchasing a spaceship. So let's make a public void and let's call this to purchase spaceship. And in here we, are, we again want to pass in an index and this is going to be the save class dot own spaceships on this index and then we want to change it to a1 if you purchase a spaceship the spaceship has not been owned by us before and now if we change it to a1 it's owned and then we have to save it also and actually to purchase a spaceship we also need a function let's call this the void remove gold and again we want to pass in a amount and in here we just want to remove the gold so save class dot gold minus equals the amount like this and then just save it again like that that's it for the save manager let's open up the menu manager and let's change the way we set up the buttons so what we want is we actually in the buttons right here in the canvas and the menu container and the shop menu and then the let's call the here the shop buttons parent let's first off delete all of these buttons except the first one let's leave that one here and then also let's create a text object so that we can display the amount that the spaceship costs. Let's zoom in and resize it just hitting alt while and clicking on it and then do the same for the side so it fits nicely inside the button. Change the font, set the text to something like let's say 50 and center it here, center it here, add a shadow. Let's put it, put it on 4 and negative 4 and then resize it to something like this. This looks good and then also set the alpha to something like 150. That's good and then put the color on white. Don't worry it's not gonna look like this obviously but let's leave it on white for now and then duplicate the button so that you have nine exactly nine buttons again like so. Awesome. Then open up the menu manager and in here we want to actually change up the init shop buttons function because now we just create on click buttons which we set up but here after we add the on click event we actually want to check if we own the spaceship so check if we own the spaceship let's check so if the save manager dot instance dot and now we want to check if the is spaceship owned and we want to pass in the current index right here that we loop through so like this and if we own the spaceship we want to remove the text element and else we want to change the text element and then we want to change the image to gray let's start by removing the text element we are actually not going to remove it we are just going to disable it so let's change the remove to disable and in here it's going to be quite simple we just want to get the button the transform that we loop through right here the button transform and then dot get child the zero index right here pass that in and dot game object dot set active and set that to false and if we go back to unity we can actually look at what this does if we go back to unity we can actually look at what this script does so the for each loop gets each button as the btn and then we open this up and get the zero index child which is just the text and basically do this we disable it so that we have the spaceship left awesome and if we have not bought this spaceship yet we want to get the text so let's make a text 
and call it button text and make that equal to the button dot get component and we want to get the component in children so get component in children and we want to get the text component and then we want to just change the text to so go to the button text and dot text and we want to change it to the price which we do not have yet so let's open up the game manager so go to unity and scripts folder and open up the game manager and let's in here right under the spaceship prefab so let's make a new public int array let's call this the spaceship prices and let's make that equal to a new int array so new int array and like this we are going to populate it right away since it's public we can then change it later on in the inspector and i'm just going to the save class and copy this array for now so that i know that i have exactly nine elements and let's change them up a little bit so the first one is obviously going to be zero that's the, spa uh, the default spaceship and let's make something like 5, 10, let's say 15 and so on. And once you're done, just make sure it's exactly 9 elements. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Awesome. So we now have the prices. Let's copy the spaceship prices right here and go to the menu manager. And where we set up the button text, we want to go to the game manager dot instance dot spaceship prices and just pass in this index, the current index that we are uh, looping through and counting right here the current index and we also have to convert it to a string like that and how do we change the image we have already done that in the last tutorials so let's just access the button component which is this here where we get the button from the btn transform so just go to the button dot image dot color is going to be equal to the color let's say dot gray now if we would start the game and go to the shop we already see like these buttons right here but if i click on anything they don't really work they are just gray and display the number but that looks quite all right to me and let's set up so that we can actually not select the spaceship if we have not bought it yet go back to the menu manager and where we at the listener right here the on button clicked hit f12 and go over to this function and we pass in the index again of the spaceship so Let's check if we own the spaceship. So if the save manager dot instance dot is spaceship owned right here and let's pass in the index. This means that we own the spaceship and we can actually equip it or just use it. Okay. And let's add an else statement and we want to buy the spaceship or at least attempt to buy it, which means that we have to check how much gold we have, how much gold the spaceship costs. So let's write down what we want to do. So first off, we want to check if we have enough gold, then we want to buy it. Then we want to update the button for the spaceship that we just bought and then we want to select the spaceship and also since we are going to remove the gold we want to update the gold text let's make a integer and call this the cost of selected spaceship this is going to be equal to the game manager dot instance dot spaceship costs or price right here prices and on this index on the index that we pass into this function and we also need the amount of gold that we have so current gold and this is going to be equal to the save manager dot instance dot get gold right here the get gold function and now we have to check if we have enough gold so if the current gold is going to be bigger or equal to the cost of the spaceship then we want to buy it and let's copy all of this in here since this is the only place where this can happen so if we buy it we have to go to the save manager dot instance dot remove gold the functions that we set up before and just paste and paste in the cost of spaceship and we also have to go to the save manager dot instance dot purchase spaceship right here this function and we want to pass in the index of the spaceship that we just bought to update the button this is going to be a little bit more complicated so let's do it step by step so let's access the transform of the button so go to the transform clicked button and this is going to be the shop button parent dot get child and we want to get the child on the index right here because this index corresponds to the list and basically everything of the current spaceship that's kind of its id so if i go to unity we are accessing this transform right here the shop buttons parent and then we are getting the child of the index of the spaceship button that we just clicked on once we get the button we want to set the text to inactive so click button dot get child again the child component and we want to the zero index and then the dot game object dot set active and zero this is just disabling the text and in here we want to pass in false and not zero and we are just disabling the text it's like basically it is the same thing as we do right here we are disabling the text if we actually own the spaceship since we set up the button color right here we also have to re reset the color of the game object so let's get the button script so button button component and it's going to be equal to the clicked button dot get component and we want to get the button script right here the com button component and now in the button component just like this dot image just as we did before dot color 
is going to be equal to the color dot white. This is the way to update the button to a bought spaceship. We are going to remove the text component right here and then reset the color to a white color. And now we want to select the spaceship, which is just these two lines. So let's probably copy and paste them. Let's not make a function for two lines. Awesome. We change the current spaceship and then update the preview. And now we just need to update the gold text, which is a function in the script. So let's just call this the update gold text like this and we should be good to go before we go to unity let's cheat a little bit so go to the save manager and right here in the awake function where we load the file let's go to the save class after we load it dot gold and let's make that equal to something like 150 and then actually also save it like so let's go to unity and hit the play button and we should have 150 gold before we go to unity let's go to the save manager and let's make a reset function let's make a private void reset values and in here we're just going to go to the save class actually let's copy all of these lines and let's go to the save manager and paste them in the reset values function and we want to remove all of these integers and public and whatnot tags right here let's paste it out nicely and also copy the save class and just put this save class dot gold to 100 save class dot levels completed reset that and reset the spaceship and if we want to reset the save file so just go in here and call the reset function reset values in the awake function after you load it and also at a save right here and yeah this should be good and now if i just start the game right here just start it the file is going to reset to the base values right here so the map is at the zero and if i actually go to the shop we have bought none of these spaceships but if i buy this buy this buy this the gold gets down to 40 and i can buy this spaceship right now i have zero gold and i cannot buy any more spaceships but i can still select the ones that we have and if i go to the menu scene and the play button nothing changes but if i undo the game and then hit the play button again we will reset okay which sucks if you want to actually play it so if i want to try that again i have 100 gold let's now go back to the save manager and we have reset the values so let's delete or comment out this line i'm gonna comment it out like this and now this function will not get called and our save file will work again as intended so if i hit the play button i can go to the shop i can buy the most expensive spaceship and even the one for 15 gold right here select all of these spaceships and i can exit the game and now i can start the game again and i should have these spaceships available for me to play with so i go to the shop and i still have these three spaceships saved Awesome, I can still buy more of them, more of them, and now I cannot buy these anymore since I don't have enough gold. Awesome. This is it for this tutorial, and if you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.